Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're going to talk about how you can run 8 or 10 pounds of boost in low gear and 30 or 40 pounds of boost in high gear on the same wastegate spring. If you recall the tech tip we did on wastegate springs, you'll remember that you can generally double the wastegate springs output with a single boost control solenoid. So if you have a base spring of 8 PSI, that's the least amount of boost you can make. And you can generally make about 16 PSI with a single three port boost control solenoid. If you have a two wheel drive car and you'd like to make 40 pounds of boost in fourth gear, you're going to need to start off with a 20 pound base spring. Since we know that the base spring is the least amount of boost the system will run, you may get yourself in a situation where the tires won't hold 20 pounds of boost in first gear and you may need a lower base to work off of. You could change the wastegate spring to 10 PSI to fix your low gear problem or your first gear problem. However, if you have a 10 PSI first gear, you will not be able to make it to 40 PSI in fourth gear because of the mechanical limitation of the spring. So there are a few different ways to use your 10 PSI base spring to reach your 40 PSI target. A lot of drag racers will use a CO2 bottle and they're using a artificially high amount of pressure to pin the gate shut. So if you have a 10 PSI base spring and you put 50 PSI of pressure on top of the wastegate, the wastegate will stay shut and you'll be able to achieve your target. You can use two three port wastegate solenoids and only run the second solenoid in the higher gears. Uh, most advanced standalones will allow you to create the maps where you can only run the second solenoid in the higher gears or whenever you desire. And the third way is to use a four port boost control solenoid. With the four port boost control solenoid, you're only going to be using one computer output to control boost. So if you have an ECU that only has one computer output, you're in luck. How this is going to function is with a regular three port solenoid, you're either leaking air from the bottom of the gate, increasing the boost output or you're adding air to the top of the wastegate to increase boost output. The four port solenoid is going to do both. It's going to leak air to the signal to the bottom of the gate and it's going to add air to the top of the gate holding it shut. Since you're able to control the air going to both the bottom of the wastegate and the top of the wastegate, this is going to allow you to take that 10 PSI base spring and turn it into a 40 PSI target in high gear. The four port solenoid comes in handy I'm using it on two of my cars, both my Turbo Civic and my Supra because both of them are fairly traction limited at low speed. So it's an inexpensive way to solve a problem if you're fighting with traction and they're readily available through us or many other vendors. If you have any questions on how this would work on your particular application, you can post it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and follow and I'll see you next week. Thanks.